Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Question Well. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. So Question Well is an AI tool that will generate multiple choice questions for you based upon a topic that you have entered, again, as well as other options if you want to include things such as the reading level and the language and the learning outcomes and so forth. Uh, but based upon the topic you put in, it will generate uh, multiple choice questions. You can then look through those questions to choose uh, which ones that you want to keep. Uh, you can, of course, edit the questions if you need to. But the beauty of this, what I really, really love about this tool, I mean, already that's pretty awesome, just the fact that it can generate all those questions, is the export options. It allows you then to take what you've created and export these into so many different tools. So whether it's Google Forms or Quizzes, Kahoot, Canvas, GimKit, BlueKit, all of these different tools, you can send the questions right over to them very, very easily. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So I'm going to head on over to the Question Well uh, website here, and I'll click on Try It Out to go ahead and pop on in. That will let me log in, just again, logged in with, with my Google account. And you'll see when you get to the Question Well uh, site there, that what you're going to see um, at the top is a spot where you put in the topic of what you want the quiz to be on. Um, and then below there, you've got an optional spot to include learning outcomes. You don't have to put those in. And then further down, you've got a spot to pick the grade level and to, speak, and to pick the language. Now, when it comes to the actual content that the questions are going to be generated from, you can just put in a topic. That is enough. That, that is fine. But if you want, if you have like the original text that you want the um, questions to be generated from, you can put that down here at the bottom. And you see there's three options. There's text, YouTube, or URL. So what that means is you can put in the original text, or you can put in a YouTube video and it will go out and get the transcript from that video. Or you can put in a URL to an article or a website and it will go out and grab that and pull that in. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say we have a video. So um, this is a uh, link to a, um, a video, Crash Course Kids. Um, I believe this one's on Facebook food webs or food chains. So if I go ahead and put in that YouTube link and I click on the button here to search, what it does is it goes out, yep, this is on food webs, and it grabs the transcript from that video. So I could use that as the basis for the quiz that's gonna be created. Maybe the student's gonna watch this video, and now I want a quiz based on that video. Or let's try another one. Let's say we go to the URL option. Here's a link to a Dogo News article. Um, and now it's going out to grab the, the text from that article. It's pulling that text in. And again, I could use that as the basis for the quiz that I'm going to be generating. Um, or it could be something where we have our own text that we're going to be putting in um, and we could go to the text box there instead and we could just paste our own text right into there. So if you had an article, you could copy and paste it or a blurb from your textbook or a poem or whatever it is that the students are going to be reading. Now, the nice thing is you don't even have to have the text, you can just put in the topic. So let's just do that for our example today. Let's say the Boston Tea Party is what we're going to do a quiz on. And maybe I don't have a text on that. Well, what I can do is I can click where it says generate student reading, and it will go ahead and create a reading based upon that topic for the grade level that I choose. So let's say eighth grade, uh, languages, English, Boston Tea Party is the topic. I'll click generate student reading. And now it's going to to create the actual text that it's going to be then be pulling from uh, to create these questions. So a lot of options there for what the quiz is going to be built from. Now, the only big limitation here is with the free version, it does limit how many words can be in that source. So I believe it is 1000 words is the limit there. So whether it's the YouTube video or the URL, or if you provide the text, it only 
only goes up to a thousand words that it's going to pull from. Here you can see it has generated um, the text for us to use. All right, very good. So at that point, we're ready to have it create our multiple choice questions. So all we do is click on generate question set, and it does take it a, a little bit of time. So you want, want to be, be, be patient there. It'll probably take about a minute or so to uh, read through the content and to generate the questions. And it typically gives you between, uh, I'm going to say, 10 to 20 questions. I've seen a variety there. It's not always the same amount, but I don't think I've ever seen much less than 10 or much more than 20 questions that get generated from this. Um, and here they come and there they are. Awesome. So now on the right hand side, you'll see my questions that got generated. Let's see how many did it make this time. It made uh, 19. So we got 19 questions from that particular text on the Boston Tea Party. Couple things to note. Um, if there's a question that looks good, but maybe needs a little tweaking, you're allowed to edit all of this. You can just click on the question itself. You can click on the answers and you can edit this and change this if need be. There's also a neat option to check the question with a Google search. So below each one of these questions, there's that link. And if you're like, well, I think that question's right, but I'm not positive, uh, you could click on check with Google search and it's gonna run a Google search on that particular question and the answer that we're looking for here to see if we can get some verification on that information. So that's a nice way to spot check something if you're not totally sure uh, about a particular question that's in there. All right, now next you would wanna go through and select the ones that you want to use and you could pick as many. You could just click on the little plus button to select the questions that you wanna use or you could hit the button at the very top to select all of them really up to you uh, to choose the questions that you want to use. And that's where the export comes in. So over here on the left-hand side, there's an export section and this is where you could export, like we said, to so many things, quizzes, Kahoot, Canvas, Schoology, Moodle, Quizlet, Google Forms, you know, on down the line. Let's just say we do Google Forms. Um, that's a common way to do a quiz. So if I click on the Google Forms link there, it has created a Google Form for us. I can click View in Google Forms, and there it is. It has created the quiz for us. It has taken all of those questions, and without us having to copy and paste all this stuff, it has gone ahead and created that quiz. It's put in the questions, the answers. It has set the answer key for us. It has done all the work. Now, of course, we can still edit it here as well if we want, but what a time saver to have all of that already generated for us. That is fantastic. All right, so that is Question Well, uh, a great tool to be able to generate uh, multiple choice questions, either from an article, a YouTube video, a text, or just a topic, and then easily allow you to export those out to other resources. Now, as far as the cost goes, again, um, everything I'm sharing today, these are all free tools, but many of them do have a paid option or they're indicating that there will be. This one already does have have one. So the free version, which is what I was demonstrating for you here, you can create and edit your multiple choice questions. You can export it to all these different services um, and you can do an unlimited amount of question sets. There's no, there's no limit to that. So what ends up happening if you do move up to a paid plan, I think it looks like it's $7 a month for that. It gives you a few other options, like instead of just multiple choice, it can generate fill in the blank questions, it can generate short answer questions, and then it can do a longer reading. Remember I said you had to limit your readings to a thousand words that it was basing the quiz on. It can go up to 5,000 words in the uh, paid version. So there are a few other bells and whistles you could get with that, but even on the free mode, which is what I was demonstrating, question well is definitely a time saver and a valuable tool for teachers. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.